so I have another video tutorial here I wanted to share with you guys on the formatting and clean install of a Windows Vista computer. Now I'm using a Dell desktop computer today to do the video on and if you guys have a laptop or a custom built PC this will work fine for you as well. And real quick I'm going to share with you what edition of Windows I'm doing the video on and what I'm running. I am running Windows Edition Windows Vista Ultimate. My system type here is a 32-bit operating system. So if you guys are showing on your screen a 64-bit operating system and your Windows Edition is like Home Basic, Home Premium, Business Edition, or Enterprise Edition, or of course Ultimate, this will work fine for you as well. What you need to make sure of is that you have a valid Windows Vista product key in relation to one of those versions. And you want to make sure that you have a full installation DVD of Windows Vista 32-bit or 64-bit in relation to one of those versions of Windows or editions of Windows that you have that you can you know use to install or do this installation. You want to make sure you have those two things. Uh, mine, mine however is not an upgrade CD, it's a full version CD. Um, I'm not doing an upgrade here at all or um, recovering from a partition or system recovery. These are full installation DVDs or CDs, so make sure you have those. And the other thing here, I got a couple of more things I got to ramble on about here. In your folder, in your user account, you want to make sure you go in and get all your documents, music, pictures, files, all that stuff, get that off your computer and copy that over to either a flash drive or an external hard drive. And once you get all that stuff copied off there, you want to unplug your external drive and your flash drive from your PC so when we go through the formatting process, it doesn't accidentally recognize one of those drives and format them. So copy all your stuff over and then unplug those from your computer. Okay. The other thing here you want to keep in mind is any like software that you installed onto your computer at this point, say you hooked your printer up and you installed the DVD or CD for the printer, and you know you ran through the installation and got your printer connected all that stuff's going to be pretty much deleted off the computer and you're going to have to reinstall anything additionally that you installed on your computer after we're done with the process here okay so i think that's just about it guys um you know i'm doing this video basically because i want to show you guys how to fix your computer if say you got viruses on it spyware malware it's running really slow maybe you actually want to go in and delete all your pictures and format the computer and start over fresh this process will allow you to do that so i did put my installation dvd which is windows vista 32-bit ultimate edition i have that in my dvd drive right now so my computer also here i'm going to restart and my computer is also set to boot from dvd so I'm going to go ahead and restart it, and it's going to come up in the top left corner and ask me to press any key to boot from DVD, which I'm going to do to start the installation to boot the Windows CD. So there it is. Press any key. Just hit enter. If you guys have any questions, just in you know the, low, the bottom of the video here, leave me a comment or ask questions down there if you're having trouble booting your DVD. The problem is I do these videos, and I'm not certain where everybody's at in the video. So the Windows Vista screen popped up here, and now we just want to click Next and Install Now. Again, make sure you have all additional things that you connected to your computer, like your thumb drive, flash drive, or your external hard drive. Unplug those from your computer before doing this. Now, when you come to your Type Your Product Key for Activation screen here, you guys can put your product key in. I'm going to skip past that to go a little quicker here on the video. And you can actually put your product key in later, and I'll show you that. But for now, I'm going to skip past it because you can enter it later when you activate Windows once you're loaded up to the desktop. So go ahead, either put your product key in and click Next, or answer the question here, do you want to enter your product key now? I'm going to tell it no. And again, it's just going to go moving on here through the process. Just select the check mark the box, I accept the license terms. Click Next. Okay, in here, we're not doing an upgrade of any sort. We're doing a custom install a clean copy of Windows. So we're doing a custom advanced install. So we want to select that custom one. And we're going to get to our screen here. So this is where things become important. Um, just make sure you have all additional drives you know, disconnected from your computer so you don't accidentally delete anything that the computer recognized here. So what you want to do is I only have one thing listed here. If you guys have several things listed here, 
you want to select them so there's a blue bar all the way across and you know you've selected that come down here to drive options or maybe you've already selected it and it's just showing delete what you want to do is delete everything that's in this list that you can delete that it will allow you to delete so right now if if like you have something highlighted here and the delete buttons grayed out like that just move on to the next thing and delete delete so the very first thing like I said go through delete everything that you can delete here and if you can't delete it that's fine too just go through the process delete all the different things in here and then what you want to do is you will you will have one showing a type here and it will it will say primary that's the one that you want to click new on and click apply like I said it should say primary over here which is your primary there it is type primary so what you want to do is and if you guys you know before like I know I selected new for that one but um, what you want to do is format disco partition one and the largest number here that's going to be the main part of your hard drive that you want to format so you click click new select new it creates a new primary partition now what you need to do is actually format that partition so you want to select that one and click format the partition there and this is of course your main hard drive you may see some additional things in here like 100 meg it might create a couple other things that say 100 MB you know just don't worry about those things this is the you want to look at your primary one and format that one once you're done with that just click next now this is going to start the installation I'm going to copying over from the Windows installation DVD to the computer so right now we have you know erased everything and we are starting the install our hard drives clean and it's starting a new fresh clean install okay so it's just about done completing this part of the installation and that can take maybe 10 to 20 minutes I'm just gonna click restart now you're gonna get this prompt press any key don't press any key to boot from CD at this point you only do that one time in the beginning just let the computer reboot on its own So we're back to completing installation. Okay, so it looks like we're done here completing that part of the installation. And it looks like we're rebooting again, so do not press that key to boot from CD. That is like the third time the computer rebooted. And like I said, you do not have to press boot from CD ever again. You only do that one time in the very beginning. All right, now we are at the username screen where you can choose a username and picture. So I'm just going to put in my name and I think I'll choose this uh, dog. And I'll go ahead and click next. I'm just gonna leave my computer name, Jamie PC. Now, if you have a network at home and you wanna name this office computer, this is where you would do it. This is what it would show up, you know, on another computer as like on your network this is the network name that your computer would have I'm just gonna leave mine Jamie PC and I'm gonna choose a background here I think I'll select that one so just click next and always use recommended settings and whatever time zone applies to you just go in and choose that now mine is Eastern time click next and home and this makes your computer discoverable and you can see other computers and devices on your network at home. So select home and it says thank you, click start. And here it is, checking the performance of the computer. Okay guys, so now we are at the welcome screen, booting up here to the desktop.
and there's our desktop. So you'll notice you really don't have a lot of icons on the desktop. One thing I like to do is I'll have to give it just a minute here to finish booting back up. Um, is right click and go to personalize. Select personalize. And uh, once it's done loading here, you'll get a box that pops up. First, you want to just choose again, choose home network if it asks. Okay, now let me just make sure that. All right, so it's just showing us our settings. You, you know, you'll get a couple pop ups there. So I, I right clicked again. Let me start over there. And I chose, uh, you know, in the beginning there, I chose the home network. So I just want to close out of that. Now it looks like it's pretty much down booting back up. So right click out here on the desktop and then go to personalize. And once you get this screen popping up, come over to the top where this link that says change desktop icons. And you can add your icons to the desktop if you select them right there. Come down and check mark apply. And click OK and then close out of that screen and now I have some icons on the desktop the one I'm interested in looking at is the mic or the uh, computer icon here I'm going to right click on that and go to properties and this is going to show me Windows Vista Ultimate you know all the information again just like in the beginning of the video down here at the bottom you're going to see where it says 30 days to activate you want to click that and go in and enter your product key at that point or at this point and uh, get that in there so this says Windows is now activated and then what you guys want to do <clears throat> is go into and open up your Internet Explorer browser And at the top here of Internet Explorer, right around the top of the title here, if you right click, actually it's down here, right here in this area where the tabs are. Right click until you can see something that says menu bar and left click that. Then you can come over here to tools and come down and start and click Windows updates and start your updates. So that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Now you can connect your external hard drive back to the computer and your flash drive or whatever and copy all your data back over to your My Documents folder. So once you connect everything, you will see everything pop up in there, your flash drive and your external drive. And that's pretty much all I have for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, comment. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Have a great one.